In this lecture, we will install Frappe Bench into our system. Here I am using Ubuntu for installing Frappe Bench and I am using 20.04 version. I installed this OS in my virtual machine. This is my operating system setup and let's start the installation. Here I am installing Frappe Bench using manual method and I created one installation guide in my GitHub repository. You can see the link below this video. So let's open my installation guide. This is my RPNX installation guide. We can see some prerequisites. Let's open the terminal and start the installation. You can use the shortcut Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal and my terminal is ready. We can start with updating the system and let's run this command sudo apt get update. We can also upgrade the system using this command sudo apt get upgrade. There is some upgradation is available. Press Y and enter to continue. Now my system is upgraded. Let me clear this. We can start from installing Python 3. But before that, let me check the Python is available or not. So we can check the version of Python using this command Python 3 then hyphen capital V. And we can see the Python 3.8.10 is available in my system. If you are using Ubuntu distributions, you don't want to install Python 3. It is available in your operating system. So I am starting with installing Git because Frappe is hosted in a GitHub repository, so we need Git for cloning that repository into our local machine. We can install Git using this command sudo apt get install then git press y and enter to continue. Now git is installed. Let me clear this. Python 3 is available in my system so next we need Python 3 dev and this is the package that contain header files for Python C API. Let's install Python 3 dev using this command sudo apt get install Python 3 dev. I am copying this and paste it in terminal using the shortcut control shift v. Press y and enter to continue. Let me clear this. Next prerequisite is Python's package manager pip and setup tools. Let's install pip and setup tools. I am copying this command and pasting it in my terminal. Y to continue. Let me clear this. Next we need a virtual environment to create isolated Python environments. So let's copy this command and paste it in terminal. Press Y. Clear this. Another important prerequisite is MariaDB and Frappe uses MariaDB as the default database. Here I am using MariaDB 10.3 version and it is because it is easy to configure for a beginner level developers. If you are using Ubuntu 20.04, you can directly copy these commands and paste it in terminal to install MariaDB 10.3. If you are not using Ubuntu 20.04, let's open this link and select your OS, choose your release. For example, if you are using 18.04, then click on this and choose this 10.3 old stable version. Then you can see the installation commands here. You can copy these commands and run these commands in terminal. Then you can easily install MariaDB 10.3 into your system. Here I am not using 18.04. So let's go back to my installation guide and run this command one by one.
you can run this command sudo apt install mariadb server to install mariadb 10.3 into our system press y to continue and now we can see a mariadb root password configuration window if you are not using 10.3 version this dialog box will not appear you have to configure that manually using some commands that's why i am using 10.3 version because it is easy to configure let's enter one password here then repeat the password one more time you should remember this password because when we create sites in our frappe bench then we have to enter this mariadb root password and now the mariadb is installed successfully let's clear this another step is an optional step and if you are not using mariadb 10.3 version you can set the root password using this command sudo mysql secure installation i am skipping this step because i already set up the root password during this installation next we need mysql database development files so let's copy this command and paste it in terminal press y to continue next we have to configure unicode character encoding in mariadb so we have to edit my.cnf file and we need to add unicode encoding in that file let's open my.cnf using nano editor let me clear this and let's open mariadb configuration file this is our my.cnf mariadb configuration file we need to add these lines into that file let's copy these lines and paste it inside this file you can paste using ctrl shift v and save using ctrl s exit using ctrl x let me verify one more time and we successfully added unicode encoding into mariadb let's exit from this file and clear this let's restart mysql services copy the command and run it in terminal next we have to install redis server and we can install redis server using this command sudo apt get install redis server let's run this command in terminal now we successfully installed redis server let's clear this next we have to install node.js into our system we can install node.js using this command let's run these commands one by one now we successfully installed node.js let's clear this next we need javascript package manager just like python pip to install yarn package manager let's run this command in terminal let's clear this and finally we need a html to pdf converter to convert html web pages into pdf document so let's run this command to install html to pdf converter press y to continue clear this now we set up all the prerequisites of frappe bench and it is a time to install frappe bench to install frappe bench let's run this command sudo h pip3 install frappe bench i'm copying this command and and run it in my terminal now we successfully installed frappe bench in our system let's clear this we can check frappe bench using this command bench version it shows frappe bench version 5.6.0 is installed in our system
let's see what is frappe bench frappe bench is a command line tool and it is used to manage frappe applications and site it also provides an easy interface to set up and manage multiple sites using multi tenancy and multiple applications based on frappe framework so we can manage the frappe project using various bench commands to initialize a new project or a new bench instance we can run the command bench init then the bench name and the bench name is the directory name of the project there are multiple versions of frappe framework is available in github so we can also specify the version along with this bench init command let's see the generally using bench commands the first one is bench version and it shows which bench version is installed in our system another one is a useful command and that is bench help it shows all the commands present in frappe bench so we can choose the commands from bench help next one is bench restart this is commonly used in production setup and we can restart the bench using this command bench restart in some situation we need to backup our site at that time we can run this command bench backup and also we can migrate the database and run patches using this command bench migrate let's see the development commands to create a new application in frappe framework we can run the command bench new app then specify the application name it will create a new application in app directory we can also clone applications from github repository we can run this command bench get app then repository link we can also specify the branch along with this command to install an application into a site we can run this command bench install app then application name this command will create a database for your application and it also install that application into that site we can also uninstall application using this command bench uninstall app then specify the application name this will uninstall that application from that site to create a new site or a new bench instance we can run the command bench new site then give the site name it will create a new site inside the site's directory we can also specify the default site using this command bench use then site name to remove a site we can run this command bench drop site this will remove that sites from our project we can configure the site config file using this command bench set config then add a key and value for example for setting developer mode we can run this command bench set config developer mode 1 this will enable developer mode in site to clear the caches we can run this command bench clear cache and it will clear all caches in that particular project we can also access the mariadb console from site using this bench command bench then specify the site name then mariadb to start a frappe development environment for example to start the server we can run this command bench start these are the important and commonly used commands in frappe bench we will use these commands in coming sections let's wind up this lecture and see you in the next lecture